Good morning, it's me, Tara, with Tara's Traveling Pants. This is the second video of the day. Last video, I guess I was nervous because I was trying something new and I just didn't really have the regular spiel that I do. <laughs> um, but so anyway, I'm back. Uh, let me wipe my eyeballs. I wanted to break these up because they're two totally different techniques. I actually experimented. I got a, I can't see so well, so. I've got to, I want to, I'm going to have to go back and tag the, the artist that inspired Tammy Anderson in, um, the description. So when that video comes up, I will be back to edit that description box. So I just wasn't, I just couldn't have it right. So let me make sure my flow troll is shut. Hello, Tara. All right. So I just had some fun with interesting thing. I think it might actually dry all right. It actually looks better than, it was just so nerve wracking for me. But I want to say hello, everybody. I hope you're doing really well. I'm doing pretty good. My hand is doing much better, and I didn't even address that. And I had people, like, down on my hand. Like, they would see it be like, what happened there? Um, I hurt myself a while back, and I finally have got to the point where I don't have to have a Band-Aid on. It's still not all the way healed, but it is uh, It's going to be a gnarly scar. I might get a tattoo with a Cheshire cat or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so what we're working with today is a 12 by 12 ceramic tile. And I just added full troll to the paints that I had added water to before. So these are Dollar Tree paints. I got a purple. I have an orange. I have a red. And I mix them with some flow troll. I'm going to do a flip cup. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling in my heart. I'm also going to add what I have left of Silver Dollar Metallic. I mix it up. Hopefully, I don't have too many bubbles in it. Uh, I have this is leftover blue Amsterdam, and I have some Sergeant Art Black. I also am going to add a little bit of this color shift next to the red in the cup. So I'm going to stack the cup up, and um, kind of like, do I want to? No, I, I just want like a very basic and not tremendously altered. But you know me, anything could happen, guys. Anything could happen. So um, that's the deal. So yes, my hand is healing and that is a good thing. And I want to thank those of you that did reach out after the last video where I talked about... Um, Kind of switching how we spend our money and moving it to American family owned business for almost everything that you could buy at a grocery store, almost everything. Um, I really, that's exciting to me, so I'm happy about that. Um, if you are a patriot, if you believe that we need to keep stuff safe and effective for our own homes and deal with American family run business, then reach out to me at Towers Traveling Paints. I'll send you a quick video. If it sounds like something you want to learn more about, then we'll get together on a one-on-one a -on -one and I'll go over the details with you. So um, with that being said, let's get back to this. Uh, I'm having a really good day so far. Woke up pretty early, like 4.30, which is all right. That's sleeping in really for me. It's about an hour sleep in. And um, I got, uh, we had uh, slow cook some meat for various different kinds of recipes. So I, sh oh, I didn't shred it because it didn't quite, we didn't quite slow cook it that long. Um, an Angus roast. So I sliced that as thin as I could, got that all jammed up and made some fresh rice. And uh, we're kind of on a Mexican kick right now. So that's what's going on. Um, so let's go ahead, get you down into this. Um, I, the heat, yesterday at, at work, the heat got me. And I saw it kind of sneaking up on me and I was like, and I'm trying to get really focused and finish a part of my training so that I could make more money. And it's a tremendous amount. I think it's like 40 different vehicles that you have to do a level two inspection on, which is much more physical inspection than a level one. I work for U-Haul. Um, but I'm on trailers now and those are a little faster. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to bust these all out today. And I get to about my seventh one, and all of a sudden I hear my phone ring, and, the, and it's ringing as if my baby's is calling me. It's that ring, because he has a special ring. 
And I go through my phone and he hasn't called. And I'm like, the heat, Tara, wake up. You will, before you know it, if, if you don't pay attention to little signs like that, you're going to pass out. You're going to get heat stroke. You could have a heart attack. I mean, it's a, so I knew. I was like, all right, let's go inside. And thank God I had pickles with me. So I had, uh, I ate two pickles really fast and then drank a little pickle juice. Went inside, stayed in the AC for a while. And the reason why for the pickles, because when you are that hot and you're sweating and you're not drinking enough water, your body's burning through your, your salt, your minerals. And so that does help. I learned that when I did keto, in the beginning it helped with the keto flu. Um, it just balances you out a little bit. So there were organic pickles, so I was all right with that. <laughs> and I, I did all right. I went out to do a couple more inspections and the heat crept right back on me. So I was like, okay. Right now, we're done with trying to push to get 17 of these things done in a couple hours, because that's not possible, especially with the heat the way it has been. So, just happy I'm not in Arizona in 119 degrees, I'll tell you what. And I do normally love the heat, but I was just in such direct sunlight and not drinking enough water and was focused and it snuck up on me. So, that being said, I'm back. I'm going to do some paintings with you. This will be painting number two of the day. I'll probably stop there because I really need to get things that epoxied. And if I keep painting, and have paintings everywhere, then when am I going to get to the epoxy? Because I can only do like two epoxies at a time. So, that, you know, I got to get to work. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and put you up on the table and lean you in and hopefully my scar is not too dramatic for you it does not hurt the really the only time that it hurt was with the needle when i got stitches and sometimes it would get tight and whatnot but uh, right now i feel like i'm doing good I'm wondering if i should just lean you in like this without taking you out let me see it's just a little harder for me to there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it over a bit. I think I should move you over a bit more. There we go. I feel better. Let's get this done. And uh, I'm going to put the black down here for my puddle. But I'm going to stack this cup. So let's go ahead and start with blue. Now how I prepared, th this is just a floor tile, 12 by 12 matte finished floor tile. tile. I just clean it with some multi-surface cleaner. And that seems to do the job. Put the purplish color next to that. I'm hoping. Oh yeah, I have enough because I'm doing a flip cup, not a, a bomb shakalaka grenade. I'm not doing a grenade. It's red. Or I don't know, it kind of looks pink to me, but eh. this is already mixed, so I don't need to pour it into a cup. Just a little color shift right there. A little shifting of color. I'm going to put the orange on it. Yeah, if you guys ever want to see the thing that gave me this injury, I'll show you, but it might freak you out. You just got to be careful with stuff like that, I'm telling you. To be careful and it was not a sharp thing like it wasn't sharp so it was just like how did you even manage that woman it's crazy sauce
hope everybody is doing great. You know, I kind of go in in between and in between. Um, still experiencing quite a bit of anxiety, but you know, I've decided. You know, I even posted this on my Facebook, my personal page. What if, no matter what the circumstances are in your life, or how badly you slept, or what kind of dreams you had in your sleep, what if you just woke up and said, it's going to be a good day anyway, I'm rolling with this, you know, and just said thank you for giving me another opportunity to do it, you know, I think that's, I was like, that's epic right there. And so I, when, I, when my feet hit the floor, I was doing it in gratitude. I had a chance to have another good day. And even though some things are crazy sauce right now, I know it's going to turn around. When I watched a podcast, oh my gosh, I almost spilled that everywhere, that I highly recommend. I did mention it in the last video. It's a Michael Knowles podcast you can find him on YouTube and you know that guy that walked around with the horns and whatnot I don't want to say too much because this is not really too much of a it's not really a political channel it's an art channel <laughs> but it, his name is Jacob Ainsley I believe and he has a two hour 11 minute interview with him that I have to say that is worth every minute and I know not a lot of people have... It took me two days to watch it. I have two hours and 11 minutes to sit and watch long content. However, I will have to say this. Now that it's time-stamped, you can break that down into bite-sized pieces, guys. And I really recommend that you do. I really recommend... If you are looking for some... Hope. If you are looking for a sign that things are going to be okay, you're going to want to watch it. It's very, very good. Very good interview. I was impressed completely. And I've seen that guy. He used to have a YouTube channel. And I've watched a couple of his YouTubes. Listen to them, really. So I was familiar with his level of intelligence, but it's been so long ago. Look how long he was away from everything. So you, you just... I really recommend you watch it. That's all I... And that's it. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say right now. Really don't want to miss out on any paint. So these are very thin. But I'm not going to um, save it. So might as well put it right on there. How do you like my get up with the regular trash bag? I can't find my contractor bags. I don't know if I lost them in the move or if they're just still buried somewhere. I don't have an awful lot to pack, to unpack. And the rest of it, I'm pretty sure, is just books. But I need bookshelves before I can unpack the books. So I don't know. I just don't know, guys. That's going to get wrapped up. Still got a little of that. That's very cool. I'm just letting it settle a little bit, guys. Well, I put some stuff away. I'm still going to have blue left over. I don't know. I probably still have some black left over. I don't think we're going to need a lot of it. So, yeah, the, the earlier painting is fun. I'm liking looking at it right now. And if I hate it, I'll be able to wash it off and use that whole thing. So, right now, this is looking... Like Skittles or something, some sort of awesome rainbow stuff. I don't know what. Now we're gonna go in with some black. <clears throat> Just wanna have enough to move it, you know? Try to follow instructions. Who does this, do you know? Well, a lot of people do, but I got it from Molly. So make sure that the ends have some paint on it. I am going to have to put a glove on because I am going to get into this. I don't know, should I put two gloves on or just one on the 
Ubu hand. Uh, I'll put two gloves on it. I'm trying to be very stingy with these right now. Because I don't want to... That might be too high. Oh, I'm thinking because if I spin it, it might be too high. Well, it's definitely a lot easier on my back when I don't have to lean over. So maybe I won't spin. Maybe I'll just tilt. Or I'll spin light, light, light. Because that's a little high. <laughs> I just realized it. Last painting, it didn't matter because I didn't do any of that. I just used a, tooth, uh, a toothbrush. <laughs> and you could use a toothbrush. I just used paint brushes. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I usually use um, like a twisted tea or white claw flat to help with the evenness. And then I'm walking through the living room and I'm seeing this that I've used for like um, store, like um, organization. I said, why not use that? And it's because it's higher, you know. So I'm kind of excited. And I feel like it's even more level. You know how sometimes it just keeps going and going with me? All right, let me see. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm thinking out loud, guys. Oh, man. She might bark. What's that, Paula out there? Probably. Hmm. I'm thinking, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm going, let me show you guys something real quick. This is the dry results of this one, and I was successful with some chameleons. This spot's not so pretty, but I like the painting a lot. Should I put some chameleons in there, or attempt to? Or just let it do its natural thing? I think I should just let it do its natural thing. I really do, because I'm, you know, working with silicone, you gotta clean that stuff off before you put any epoxy on it. And, Sometimes it's very difficult to get it all the way off. And then your epoxy doesn't attach to the product. I just wish I had been able to save those boulders so much. But I see it's developing. I see more cells coming up right now. And you know that silver, what, what, what brand is that? I love these pouring things. Pouring Masters, silver. I know that Pouring Masters put some silicone. I know they do. And now I'm starting to see things happen here. Very subtle. And I got some boulders. I got some cells, and I love cells. The colors are delicious. It's really pretty. I hope you guys like it. I really, I just don't want to do anything more to it. I don't want to ruin it. You know what I mean? I get very frustrated with myself when I ruin something. Huh. That's pretty. Clean the edges here. I like working with tiles. So sad I didn't get back to there in time to get the rest of them because I would have, then I would have presented that gentleman with a one of a kind artwork that would have blown his mind and maybe turned into something interesting. But there was like 15 cases and I, oh, I was so tired. It was another one of those Sundays, like the sun got me days and I just couldn't, I couldn't pull it off. So I grabbed one. Wayne and I went back the next day. They were all gone. I was literally practically in tears. This is really pretty. I'm going to pull you in. I'm not touching it. No more. No more. Watch out, puppy. I got to get the camera. Come here. Thank you, love. Oh, you want some loving? Oh. Watch out. Thank you. I've got a lot of housewifey things to do. And I don't want to get too hot. And not want to do them. They're, uh... I, I need to get the dog hair up and the cat hair. Alright, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. That color shift is going to be sexy. You're going to see the silver come up over this direction. Just trying to... It's so blurry. Why? But yeah, we've got... It's pretty. I like it a lot. And I hope it just dries even better and keeps just being a bit more amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.
I'll see you on the other side.